Hi, hello and welcome to this short uh, webcast. Today what we're going to discuss is how do you integrate Oracle Service Cloud, which was previously known as right now CX, to Oracle's main ERP, which is eBusiness Suite, or EPS for, for short. So over the past few years, we've had a great time working on CX projects using multiple cloud-based CX management platforms, ranging from Adobe to Oracle. Uh, around the same time, we've been working on multiple SOA middleware integration projects as well. Uh, and basically, the objective was to connect on-prem ERPs such as EBS and JD Edwards uh, to the new exciting world of cloud-based CRMs, smartphone apps, and social apps, and location-based services. So while we're working on these different cloud integration projects, uh, we've come across quite a few uh, quite a few options with regards to integrating on-prem ERPs to the cloud-based CRM software, such as Salesforce or Oracle Service Cloud. So let's quickly zoom in a little on the different options that are available for integrating e EBS with Oracle Service Cloud. Before we do that, let's take a quick overview of what Service Cloud is all about. So Service Cloud uh, combines web, social, and contact center experiences for a unified cross-channel service solution in the cloud, uh, which enables organizations to increase sales and adoption, build trust, and strengthen relationships and reduce costs and effort uh, and efforts. Uh, the enterprise platform provides transparency, reliability, unmatched security, and total cloud freedom for mission critical customer experience delivery. Um, let's now quickly take a look at what EBS is all about. So Oracle eBusiness Suite, also known as EBS, consists of a collection of enterprise resource planning software, a customer relationship management, and supply chain management business applications. Uh, now, now that we have an overview for both platforms, so let's move forward. Uh, before we move into the actual options, let us lay down what the challenges that we wanted to address with, with our integration options. Uh, first of all, we wanted to build uh, uh, basically mediators, or we wanted to mediate all the various web services by adhering to security and scalability considerations. We wanted to transform data using XSLT, XPath, and all the other standard XML technologies. Uh, we had to marshal the APIs from the backend SOAP-based web service frameworks to more nimble REST-based APIs so that they can be easily consumed by mobile apps and other smarter interfaces. Uh, we wanted a seamless business process orchestration and human workflow integration as well across all the channels and devices. We also wanted a real-time monitoring for the business process that spanned the web, mobile, social, e-commerce, CRM, and the backend ERP. Uh, we also wanted to have some pre-built integration adapters for the ERP, CX, and the cloud services. So here are the options that we've come across and we've tried. First one is uh, using eBusiness Suites to build an integrated SOA gateway. It is touch upon this real quick in, in a bit. Uh, the other option is our own CX integration cloud, and we'll also discuss about this as to what this is all about. The other three options are Oracle SOA Suite, 12C, Oracle Integration Cloud, and third-party SOA platforms. So for now, we're going to discuss the first two options in, in a bit more detail. So first of all, uh, using the eBusiness Suite integrated SOA gateway. So let's take a quick look at this option. So at the top, you see uh, Oracle Service Cloud, or right now. And here you see the option available from the Oracle Service Cloud front for the integration. So there's, this is the core database uh, for the Oracle Service Cloud right now service. Uh, then there's a connect common object model, or CCOM for short, uh, you've got the file manager, you've got the customer portal, you've got the process designer, you've got the analytics engine there. 
and all of them are available through a connect PHP API. Now this box kind of explains the service cloud side of the story when it comes to uh, the integration. Now let's quickly take a look at the EBS side of it. Here you've got an integrated SOA gateway which Oracle has bundled as a core offering with EBS R12. What that contains is an integration repo, uh, a service provider, a service monitor, and a service and rotation framework. Uh, let's take, take a quick look as to what they are. So integration repository is basically a comprehensive catalog of more than 1,500 services and integration points of EBS. It's one of the most, uh, it, it is the most com comprehensive uh, you know, in, in inventory, if you will, for all the public interfaces of EBS. Then you've got a service provider which basically consumes and provides SOAP-based web services for uh, business service options. And basically, our, our Java interfaces, PLC, SQL APIs, uh, XML gateway ma maps, and concurrent programs. The user can use any third-party web service client to invoke these ISG uh, services and uh, they are all uh, you know, WSI basic profile compliant, so to say. So the other thing is the service monitor, which actually monitors the incoming and outgoing web service requests and responses. Service invocation framework, which is uh, an important aspect, it acts as a web service client for any internal or external web service. It is integrated with business, uh, business events. So if there's any business event inside EPS, you can use that to invoke some external web service or even some internal web service as well. So as outlined in the diagram, uh, here you can use either a SOAP-based web service or a REST-based uh, service uh, to communicate between the Connect PHP API on the service cloud side and uh, the ISG from the EBS side. That's option number one. Now let's take a quick look at the other option that we'd like to cover today before we sign off. So the other option is of using a CX integration cloud. Uh, and what that really is, it's, it's a CX middleware integration framework that we put together uh, which pieces or integrates on-prem enterprise apps to the cloud-based apps, especially Oracle CX Cloud, with Oracle Service Cloud being one of them, and, and different customer touch points, including mobile, social, e-commerce, location-based services, in-store, kiosks, or you know, POS and augmented reality apps. So um, here's a you know, overview of uh, what a CX integration cloud looks like. As you can see here, you've got an Oracle Service Cloud adapter, which basically uh, behave as a proxy and kind of connects to the service cloud connect PHP API using either SOAP or REST as we discussed earlier. All the rest of this stuff on the service cloud front is, is the same as we discussed with the previous option. Uh, on the bottom you see eBusiness Suite adapter which, uh, which is the EBS adapter uh, to connect with the EBS services. Uh, here you see the that the, you've got a CX dashboard, you've got a business rule engine, and more importantly, you've got a you know, business process engine, which is which hosts the PPEL, and you've got a human workflow engine, you've got a business activity monitor, and you've got a big data and real-time analytics engine as well, uh, all uh, on top of that core enterprise service bus. And then you've got some other goodies, uh, things like customer journey mapping and stuff like that, that uh, we are in the process of enhancing as well. Uh, so the framework is, is lightweight yet highly secure and scalable with built-in big data analytics, business activity monitoring, complex event processing, and things like those, which basically allows for a multi, uh, multi-channel integration across the digital and physical dashboards. Uh, what that also allows to do is uh, connect your uh, service cloud and ERP uh, like EBS with things like IoT devices, you know, with smart devices, either be it your smartphones or, you know, smart 
refrigerators or smart air conditioners, etc., uh, to be able to monitor all the data from there and maybe uh, based on some uh, sensors uh, and values uh, determine whether there's a problem with the device and maybe generate a support ticket uh, even without a customer having to do that for you. So those are kind of more, uh, uh, those, those, those are the additional value add that you're going to get if you go with the you know, ESA CX integration cloud as opposed to a standard SOA platform. Um, so yeah, so integration, CX integration cloud goes beyond SOA and as I said, provides input support for some CX adapters and real-time big data monitoring. Uh, as you would have guessed by now that we, I'm quite passionate about how middleware technologies can connect CX cloud to the on-prem ERPs and also to the customer-centric uh, touch points and devices. I would love to hear your thoughts on your experience in this space, and more specifically, the SOA integration challenges you're facing with Oracle CX Cloud. Thanks a lot for your time, and I appreciate you being here. Take good care, and have a great weekend.